one owner car guy one owner car guy .com, and I got a windy day here but I've got an absolutely beautiful 1999 Ford Taurus wagon in the SE model I believe and it could be an LX let me get to the back and tell you this thing when I came up on, on auction I was like whoa look at that Taurus woo I went all around it I was like yeehaw and then I got to the other side and when I got to this side I was like Eat it. Then I was like, ah, I don't know, it ain't so bad. You can see the dents. I'm gonna call it a light project. This thing runs great. It's got 107,000. One oh seven original miles on it. It is a two owner. Um, I buy lots of one, two, and three owner cars, and I slap them on for worldwide audiences because things like this just are not that common to see nowadays in the wagon in this kind of miles heck any Taurus with this kind of miles it just ain't happening you don't find it it's a clean car and i'm gonna do everything show you everything if you want to see like 60 70 pictures go to my website it's oneownercarguy.com make sure and subscribe here on youtube i do all kinds of videos every week over 5,000 of them on here and that's the deal first off i'm gonna jump down and show you underneath it looks nice it's clean it doesn't leak all over or nothing it's clean not rusty it is what it is. A little bit of patina on it just from, you know, scraping and parking lots of stuff. I'm going to go around and show you any exterior damage before anything. Um, just absolutely beautiful car. Uh, clean as can be. I've said that three or four times while I'm trying to think of how I'm going to go around this. Sorry about that. Well, let's just go jump right into the fender. A little scuff right here. Light. But you've got this bang in the fender, man. Dent and dent crush and scrape down the door with some ripple in so, junkyard door, junkyard door, junkyard fender. Yeah, if you could find gold, you'd be set. A little bit of squirrely whoop on that. And I'll try before the interior to get some of that off. Um, I thought that was going to be done when we were detailing it, but I guess my guy did not get to that. He asked me about it, and I guess I was expected to come out and do it. And I didn't do it, so that's where we are on it. I'll put something on it and see what I can get off. It's actually clean up probably good. At least halfway on the front. Okay, so obvious that. Other than that, there's a little ka-chink and a ka-chink and a little crease in the hood type of thing. That's about it. Um, nothing that will headlights and lenses and emblems and hood ornaments and whatever you want to call them. Everything's in great shape. Um, the tires, I think you just put them on, man. Look at all that tread. I'm going to call them 85 to 90% tread. They're just nice. Look at that. Beautiful. Um, up on the roof. And it, this stuff, we just don't get it wiped down sometimes after the, um, the wash. And it's got little marks there. You can see where this is flaking. Just the original paint on here. Um, just age. They all do it. Not all rusted. Some of these get to where... It'll rust around all the screw holes. This has not done that. It's just the flakage of the... It's kind of like a plastic coating type paint or something. But that's the way it is. Just want to be upfront on that. Um, cool roof rack to have. Um, man, lenses and car, just clean as can be. Except for the obvious. It's an SE. Little chippage here. Little scuffs and chippage and stuff like that. Runs great. I'm going to go for a little test drive with this stuff there. Um, clean down the side. I'll tell you what, I don't think this side has a dent in it. I'm sure there is. I just can't see it. Let's see if I can see a little chip there. Scratch it. Let me look down at it again. I don't think there's any. There's got to be a ding I'm missing. Man, it's straight. Look at the wheel wells. All the plastic and everything just in great shape. Whoever kept this car kept this car in great shape and they kept it clean. They maintained it. It runs just awesome. Love the spoilers and stuff on it. And all this stuff's clipped in like it should be. All your plastic little screw pop things are in there. Glass is in good shape. Drew Ford, San Diego Carbot. San Diego Carbot the whole time. They've had it here. Um, Antenna has some kind of an issue. I'm gonna check that out. Um, double, triple pop back trunk. Don't know how exactly it all works. I just know it all works. I'm gonna make sure that all, yeah. <laughs> so, that's the deal. One owner car guy.
one on a car guy.com. This is like an exterior review and a quick walk around. And as you can see, besides that other side, if it wasn't for that, it would be just an absolutely great shape. Somebody's gonna get a great car, and I am gonna go ahead and take you for a test drive and kind of show you how it runs and all that good stuff. A little scuff right here too. I want to show you and a little chip right there. Man, other than that, it's just hard to find anything to complain about. There's lots of people over here now, so. Okay, test drive. Put my camera there. Okay, out and on the road, and I'll tell you what, the air conditioner in this thing is cold as can be. And it ain't exactly a, a chilly day here in San Diego. So to be quite honest, you're gonna have to put up with a little bit of sound because I'm leaving the AC on. A lot of traffic out at this time of day. Man, the upshift, the downshift, it's just so nice. It runs and drives great. I'm gonna go ahead and do this to this drive running. Like I say, it's one owner car guy, oneownercarguy.com. Lots of vehicles on here. So many vehicles. Yes, sir. And on my channel here, you can see about 5,000 videos. Right up to speed limit, just like it should. It's got 107.685 on it. I got to readjust for you. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful day probably can't see that good because I'm not zoomed up. But this thing corners, drives, shift. Let's go, buddy. Just like it should. Actually, like it shouldn't because this wagon is pretty fun to drive, actually. A very peppy, 24 valve V6. Great little cars. These cars are, are you see them all the time with 250, 300,000 miles on them. This one, 107. Yeah. Not that many miles. I'm gonna throw some pictures and different things in on this review. Um, it's an exterior, and I went around the car to show you just anything I can think of to show you on the car. Uh, maybe I'll get out here and show you a different angle. Because I just wanna make sure I'm showing everything. I mean, shh, beautiful, everything about it. It's beautiful, doors open, closed, just nice to me. No weird on uh, sounds, AC's cold. This thing is clean. Well, I say that right when I get to that. But like for work or for whatever, not everybody needs a perfect car. And the thing about this car is, this car is cheap. This car I'm not asking all kinds of money for. This car is cheap. Check my website, give me a call on it. It's 406-546-8748. And I got all kinds of unique cars about this type of car and about this type of era and before, you know, like 80s, 90s early 2000s. That's what I do. Okay, we're going to drive this thing back and do it to it. Give me a sec to readjust my um, my camera overheats because it's such a hard thing to do through all the pictures and take the video. So I'm going to do this to this. I'll be back in a second. Alright, back at you. And I'm going to turn the AC down. I actually pop my battery out and put the AC on the battery and the camera. So turn it all the way back up. Man, this is a nice car. I like to keep it just for an office car, just to go back and forth to Costco and stuff. It's so nice, just throwing everything in the wagon. And it's not a truck, so you don't have to, I don't know why I put the blinker on, but they all work. It's not a truck, so you don't have to worry about people stealing stuff out of the back when you leave it somewhere. Just super cool. Wagons are gone, man. There's just no wagons around. And find a classic like this with this kind of miles. If you're looking for one of these, stop it and call me, Nathan, 406-546-8748. I'm telling you, man, this is a nice little car. And do you proud. It's an old car. I'm sure you're going to replace something here or there. And as time rolls on, things go out on them. It's not a brand new under warranty car. I mean, 
alternators and all this kind of stuff. Stuff happens with cars, but this car at this point is just such a great runner. It's just a pleasure to drive. It's a pleasure, absolutely pleasure. I tell you, I tell you. Okay, that's that. That's your exterior review. I can't think of absolutely anything else that I need to tell you about it. Um, I'm gonna get out here and make sure. Yeah, I don't know. I'm going to do an interior review tonight, and I'll clip that all together, so you'll be seeing that later. Thanks for watching. Have a great day or night, whatever it is, wherever you are. OneOwnerCarGuy.com OneOwnerCarGuy, OneOwnerCarGuy.com And what I've got here for you today is a beautiful 1999 Ford Escort <laughs> Taurus wagon. Boom! But not beautiful because of that. That's the damage on it. It's pretty straightforward up front. I did the exterior review. This is going to be the interior. It's got only 107,000 miles on it. Runs good. AC's cold. Everything about this car is clean as can be, except for the obvious dents there, as you can see. And on the exterior, I went around that and I showed you in great detail all about that. With this one, I'm just going to do a quick once around to kind of show you a once around. And then I'm going to go up close and show you any of the interior and stuff. We're going to go look at all that. Um, we're going to look at all the options, see how nice they are. Then we'll go for test drive and all that good stuff. That's the deal. 99 Ford Taurus, 107,000 original miles. Great little cars. Um, six cylinder, 24 valve, dual overhead cam. I think it's six cylinder, almost positive. Boom, so that's the deal. I'll pop the hood, show you that in a second. Let's do it too. In fact, let's do that first before we even get to do anything else. Beautiful car interior, look at that. Bam! Just clean as can be. Let's pop this here. Check this out. Doors open and close right. Well, that one opens and creaks when you get to the end. But that's about it. Duratec 24 valve V6. And I'm here to tell you, this Duratec 24 valve V6 is in absolutely great shape. Look at the. Look at the set. It's been maintained. It's got the stickers in down there still. This thing's been taken care of. And it's even got the felt back there in the firewall. And the, under the hood, the hood liner foam and everything is in great shape. Look at this. Just so clean. Clean car. Did I say it's a clean car yet? I did. If you're looking for one of these, stop it and call me. Look at original fenders on this thing. It's got the original GM stickers. So they've never been off. This one needs to be off now, but they've never been off. And the reason I don't fix some stuff like this sometimes is because then people think you're hiding something. And they're like, what are you hiding? Well, I'm not hiding nothing. It runs good, drives good. It ain't all driving down a road all crooked or nothing. And I could fix that so easily and cheaply, especially if you found a gold one at the junkyard. Imagine that. Score. But just drive it like it is, man. That's all there is to it. Door panels, great condition. Seats, great condition. It's kind of loud out here doing my review. I'm sorry, and I'm trying to hurry. Headliner, great condition. This thing is clean as can be. Make sure you check out the pictures because it's just too late and you can't really see just how stinking clean that thing is. But it's clean. Floors, everything, clean as can be. Um, I should go ahead and open this up and go ba bam and give you this. There we go. Look at this thing, man. Just clean as can be. I'll show you on the other side too. The back has the double triple whammy to where you can hit that and open the top thing. It needs new struts. They don't stay up on their own. And this one, the struts do work just fine. We got some loud ass people here, so sorry about that. Um, this little original net and hood is still here. Try and take this off to where I can show you under here. And you can lock that with the key and such. Huh. Well, that pops the second one. Yeah, but I've got it held down by the other straps. So all that works. Um, this here pulls out just fine. I think this one. Oh, they're back here. Yeah. Well, I'm thinking out loud here, thinking out loud. You can stick that in that hole and hold it in that one. And that looks nice, looks great. It's a little stretched out on that side, but it's. Pretty good shape, buddy. Pretty good shape. 
Now, when we pull the seats back, something happened. Here, let me do this. These come right down. And so then this would be in the front. But, see, you got these in the back. So I don't know what the deal is with that. Um, they come that way. They come this way. Looks to have third row. But let me pop that down and show you what we got here. Show you what we got. We got a clean car. That's what we got. Go for a test drive in a minute here. But um, let me pop this all the way up. Push the wrong button. Okay, we'll get this out of the way and get this out of the way. And I think I'm going to have to actually take that out to do what I want to do here. We'll get rid of your netting, we'll throw it down here. We'll click this up, set this down, click this one up, and ba bam There you go. There we go. And all that's good. So you are set up, buddy. That is just clean as can be. I'm going to shut this off and take a picture of that. Pretty nice down pull this down um, I'm not gonna take this up which is gonna make my picture be kind of funky but I'm gonna do it anyways be off in a second make sure and look at the pictures on my channel on my website one owner car guy.com just made work truck can you say work truck buddy I ain't kidding this is making a nice work truck clean on the dash it gets that little creak as you open it up all the door panels are in great shape Seats are all just beautiful. There's no rips or tears or anything like that. It's got this absolutely awesome little <laughs> console. And it fits together so nicely with a little storage here. The, it's missing a, a pin. There's a pin that goes through here, right there. It's missing out of that one. Original book. Gallant? Who stuck this in here? Okay, not the right one. That's for sure. Okay, that's the car. That's the once around. That's the interior. We're gonna go over some options now. I'm gonna start it up, tell you a bam bam this is what we're dealing with. We're gonna go for a test drive and all that stuff. If you're looking for a clean Taurus, stop it and call me. If you're looking for a cool little economical wagon, stop it and call me. That's all there is to say about it. Fires right up, lights good and all that. This one, the auto does not work. It has the auto down function, but the auto down function does not auto down. Switch is probably bad, but works fine. I'm gonna turn the AC down, it was warmer earlier. So all these work. Back windows, this one, I can hear it clicking, but it ain't working from that switch. And it ain't working from that switch. So that one does not come down. Oh well. Locks all lock and unlock, I know that. Heater's good. Dash is not all cracked up, nothing like that. This one's good. Center light bulb is burnt out. When you hit the instrument panel, lights. It does not come on. So for what it's worth, it's a light bulb. Cruise control. Like I say, AC and everything, rear defrost, all that works. It's a good working car. Um, that light, oh, there we go. Sometimes they're so, they've never been used. And so you need to, there I am. You need to move them a couple times. I don't know. That one works too. Bam, and adjustable. The old crap handles. And I noticed they started putting them on this side, on the driver's side nowadays too. Turn this down again. And we're gonna go for a test drive. I don't know. If Anything else to tell you inside? Look at this. Never used. Doesn't smell like any weird auto lock. It's got the key fob. Key fob battery is dead. In other words, you've got to unlock it by hand. There's your key fob. I'll show you maybe again. Okay, where are we going? Where are we going? Where are we going? On the road again, just like Willie. Okay, so 
I'm gonna shut this off to where you don't have to wait at the light. Okay, here we go. Go race that little beamer. Come back here, buddy. Where are you going? We'll get you in our Taurus. He thinks so too. We're gonna race. No, we're not racing. We're just hitting a different road. We're passing. Oh, we won. We won. We smoked his. Yeah. No, we didn't do that. Just going a different way. But the Taurus is ballsy. It is fun to drive. I turned the air conditioner back up because I was doing the. Uh, Get down on it, man. The upshift, the downshift, it drives nicely. You just put your foot down in this thing. It's got so much power. So much power. Light little wagon for such a big motor. Um, very economical, easy, cheap to work on cars. Pretty much anything's cheap to work on of this era. If you're buying parts on eBay or Amazon or places like that. You've got someone that can actually work on the stuff. And this era of stuff, you can pretty much work on. Anybody can work on it. I mean, they're in, not that technical like the new stuff. Okay, so now you've driven around the block with me a couple times. You know that the thing drives good, it shifts good, it brakes good, it steers good, the shocks are good. Something's going to go out on this car at some point. I'm sure you replace an alternator, starter, God knows what, at some point. Right now, everything's working, and it's just clipping on down the road. I actually gonna let that guy wait just a minute. We're gonna get out now. So we're gonna let him get in front of us and we can really get this thing going. I mean that's the speed limit like right now. And yeah. If you're looking for one of these, Nathan 406-546-8748. Check my website, oneownercarguy.com. I've always got some unique stuff on there just because I got some unique stuff on there. And I enjoy doing these older oddball cars. This is an oddball car. That's all there is to say about it. Absolute joy to drive. I'm just thinking, run over that little sky. We'll go get that little XA right now. I'll tell you what, right now we boom. And in an accident, these are pretty safe cars. I mean, that thing, this car is still running down the road. You'd never even know it had a dent on the side unless you seen the dent. So, really no need to fix. Somebody might want to make it perfect. I don't think it's the kind of car you make perfect. I think it's the kind of car you give. Sally May to drive and you just drive the tires off this thing. That's all there is to say about it. Uh, there's all kinds of cars in my lot here. I will give you a quick look at some of the stuff that's around. Um, oh, I gotta go to the store. So. In fact, I'm gonna go ahead and go through here right to the 99 cent store. We're gonna go do something. We're doing something. We're showing you how this thing just goes right over speed bumps. Bump, bump, just like that. I'm telling you what, it's a clean car. I got so many classics. So many classics and just so many oddball cars on my lot and I think you'll find some cool stuff there. Um, I'm gonna probably just come up here to Dollar Tree and give you a goodbye. I might clip a thing on the end at the lot here in about 10-15 minutes but might as well make this work out for me. I've got to do stuff. I've got to do stuff and there's just a lot to life sometimes. So beautiful car, beautiful night. I don't know what more a guy could ask for than a a car review and a beautiful night. I'm gonna put this thing right here. Say good night to you. Yeah, I like it. I don't like it a lot, but I like it enough. I like it enough. One owner car guy, one owner car guy .com. That's the 99 Taurus. I'll show you again here maybe, and that's that. Thanks for watching. We'll talk to you 406-546-8748. Name's Nathan.